How's it going, you guys? My name is Michael Shanebloom. I am a professional photographer and filmmaker. Yesterday, I got my hands on a DJI Mavic to test it out, go fly, have some fun uh, with my friend Barry. And I just want to show you guys some of the footage that I got completely raw, out of camera. I didn't do anything to the footage. Um, and basically clear up the concern that the camera is super out of focus. Uh, here's the reason that happens. A lot of the people who were doing the test footage and doing reviews online forgot to tap the screen. You can tap the screen to focus the camera, and this is new. This, they don't have this on the Phantom 4 or the Phantom 3. Uh, it's similar to how you would focus your camera on an iPhone. You have to tap the screen and then it'll click where you want to focus the camera. And this is what you have to do on the Mavic before you fly. And I'll show you guys what happened before we focus the camera and what happened after we focus the camera. So this is my, this is some honest footage straight out of camera. Um, let's go ahead and take a look. So here's right where we started hovering. Um, this is uh, basically right when we got the, the Mavic up and it is out of focus. We haven't changed the focus yet. Here's another clip where we haven't focused the camera. This is right when we started flying and um, yeah, it's, it, it is soft when you don't focus the camera. You really do have to focus it. Now here is when we finally focus the camera. And in my opinion, the footage looks great. The 4K looks awesome. Um, I was so surprised at how, <laughs> how awesome the footage and the photos looked from this thing. It's tiny. If you've seen uh, the size comparisons, it's tiny compared to the Phantom 4. Anyways, but um, this... You know, this footage isn't really supposed to be crazy cinematic or anything. It's more just, I mean, this was my first flight, so I was just getting a feel for the controls, getting a feel for the gimbal, getting a feel for the tilt. Um, it, it flies awesome. I, I don't, it, it, it definitely flies at, as well as the Phantom 4. Um, I was extremely surprised at how well it did in the wind. It was really windy when we were flying, uh, and <laughs> as you can see from the footage, I didn't touch this up, I didn't do any stabilization here. It looks really good for how windy it was. I was, I was really surprised. I think it almost handled the wind better than my Phantom 4, because I flew the Phantom 4 that day as well, and the Phantom 4 definitely was a little more shaky. Um, but yeah, just kind of getting a feel for the footage, testing it out. Um, this was this was all shot in Santa Cruz, California. Um, I think I was trying to do. I think I was trying to get above the lighthouse to do just like a rise shot. But yeah, nice looking footage. Um, I will say I don't think the footage is quite as tack sharp as the Phantom Four footage. But you know what? It doesn't really bother me because in certain circumstances, I almost think the Phantom Four footage looks a little too sharp um, because a lot of times when I'm working with regular footage from a regular camera or I'm doing time lapse I'll sharpen the footage anyways I'll apply a slight sharpen filter before I output the footage but when I get the footage out of the Phantom 4 I almost think it's over sharpened so I never sharpen it anyways I feel like with this footage I could just put on a slight sharpen filter and it would look you know at least as sharp as the Phantom 4 um, but the footage looks clean. Hope you guys enjoyed this test. Um, you know, let me know what you think. Let me know if you're going to get this this drone. Pretty excited about what you can do with it. I mean, I go hiking all the time, so something like this where I can fit it in my backpack seems pretty awesome. So uh, I'm, I'll probably be doing some more comparisons and stuff like that soon. Um, I'm also going to be comparing some of the image files because I took images side by side with the DJI Phantom 4 and the Mavic. So I'm going to be checking those out and probably doing a video on that soon too. So thanks so much for watching you guys. I really appreciate it.